The title of my talk is Why Zebras Don't Get Ulcers. Uh, and this is not a, a title that I came up with. It's a title of a book by a, a well-known doctor at Stanford, Robert Zapolsky. And his conceit is zebras don't get ulcers, and we do. Here's a zebra. Short bursts of stress. You're getting chased by a lion, followed by long periods of rest. Fortunately for us, we don't get chased by lions, but we're also not having the long periods of stress. We have chronic, continuous, low to mid-level stress all the time. And it has real physiologic consequences for us. It's not, stress is not just an emotional or mental state. It actually affects the way our body functions over time through hormones and through our endocrine system and through our anatomic nervous system. So all these pressures that come on us create the situation where we are, in general, experiencing stress constantly all the time. And I say this is like the 300 pound gorilla in the healthcare room. This is affecting everybody I come across as my patients. Does stress have physical consequences? I always say, well, what's one of the most stressful jobs in the world? President of the United States, maybe. Look at the aging that happens to our presidents. This is George Bush in 2000 and 2008, eight years later, having one of the most stressful jobs in the world. And just be fair, here's Obama uh, eight years ago and today. Here's some of the diseases linked to stress. Heart disease, stroke, cancer, depression, diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis. Pretty much every disease that kills us is caused by stress. So we need to be very aware of this, how this affects our long-term health and our immediate symptoms, things that we go to the doctor for all the time. They say 90% of all emergency room visits are related to stress-related conditions. Fatigue, energy crashes, brain fog, insomnia, chronic pain, headaches, infections, allergies, all this stuff is related to chronic stress. So what can we do about it? The first and foremost thing is refined sugar. Refined sugar just drives stress hormones in our body. So it's, it's like just attacking our body with, with a stress response. So re avoiding refined sugar is very important. Incorporating a no stress or low stress activity into our daily lives. 15 minutes a day, and lots of studies have shown this with different types of stress reduction activities, wh whether it's meditation or breathing exercise or a, a walk, lots of different things have shown that has really, really beneficial effects on our health and restore some of the hormonal imbalances that can happen with, with chronic stress. So even 15 minutes a day can be really powerful. And I add this in now, which is making sure we get enough sleep Seven to eight hours is a requirement if you're a human being. Uh, I, if, if you are the first kind of person who can only needs four hours of sleep, then don't talk to me about it. You need seven or eight. That's just, that, if you're human, that's what you need. So we need to get enough sleep that helps restore our entire system every night, not only our brain, but our body too. Uh, I put in a, uh, it's a healthy living checklist. These are just really basic things almost everybody can do to help stay healthy. Many of these are, uh, about handling and managing chronic stress. So my hook is avoid refined sugar. Take 15 minutes a day out to have a non-stress activity and it will have very, very beneficial preventative health uh, benefits for you and probably you'll feel better. It's not an overnight thing. I always say it takes 10 to 20 years usually for people to have the consequences of chronic stress really start to affect their health it takes sometimes, depending on how long it's taking you to get there, six months to a couple of years to get back. So it's, a, it's not an overnight success, but it definitely is well worth uh, the time and effort. What can you do to incorporate 15 minutes of stress-free time in your day? Uh, whether it's even as simple as not eating lunch at your desk or taking a walk outside the office once a day. So that's my question for you.